Hey squad, welcome back. Now today we're going to be looking at delay plugins in Logic Pro X, Pro Tools and Ableton Live 10. Now for me, creative use of delay plugins is an absolutely integral part of music production today. And if you are using any of the three platforms that I've just mentioned, you have some fantastic delays at your fingertips ready to enhance your creativity. So let's get into this and explore the different ones that are available and how they compare between the three doors. Now don't forget as well to check out my other videos where I'm doing head to heads between Logic Pro X, Pro Tools and Ableton Live 10. I've also got some videos comparing Logic Pro X and Ableton Live 9. So make sure you check those out. Now I'm starting off with Logic Pro X, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm starting off in Logic Pro X and I've got two tracks up. One has got a very short vocal clip and the other one has a very simple two bar melody line played on a synth. Now straight out of the box, Logic comes with five really interesting and powerful delay plugins. You've got the delay designer, the echo, uh, sample delay, stereo delay, and tape delay. These are really useful and, and very usable in your productions. So I'm gonna quickly go through and just kind of give you a quick overview of what they do and how you might be able to use them. So let me play this vocal back real quick. There's not a thing I can do. Okay, I'm gonna start with the tape delay. Uh, let's just come in with the factory default. It's really smooth, really, really easy to use. I mean, right here, it's the, the layout of the plugin itself is real simple. You've got the delay time, you've got feedback, wet and dry controls, you've got filtering here, and adjust the character of the delayed signal and add some modulation and flutter. And another great thing about Logic plugins is the ability to adjust the size of the actual plugin interface. We can go down to 50% or we can come up to 150%. And this is really handy because depending on the size of and the resolution of your screen, you can adjust so it's easy to read information, the parameters on screen. And that's something I really like about Logic plugins is the ability to resize the actual plugin interface. You've got quite a few presets which will be handy starting points for you. So let's go for eighth note flutter. Right, very interesting. And you can even go for something a bit more dramatic like ultra dub. And this is real, real simple to use. I'm not gonna spend much time on this. I mean, it's just definitely worthwhile you having a good play. And don't forget, you've got the tempo sync switch here. So you can always switch this off and adjust the delay time according to what you wanna hear rather than having it synced to the tempo of the Logic project, okay? So that's your tape delay, very, very useful. And I use this on pretty much every single production I make in Logic Pro X. Now go to stereo delay. Again, we're on the vocal, the default, and let's increase this to 100%. It's not a thing I can do. Very smooth, very, very nice. And again, the controls are very similar to the tape delay, but you've got two sets of controls. You can do stereo link. So if you were to adjust delay time here, when you adjust a control on either channel, a corresponding adjustment is made on the other channel. Really handy. Let's try find something interesting. Um, let's see what this does. It's not a thing I can do. Again, so really useful presets that you can mess with. And of course, it's really easy to set up your own customized delay settings. Okay, so that's your stereo delay. And now for the sample delay. Okay, let's pull that one up. And the sample delay is really, really handy as well. The delay works on very, very small delay intervals. So down to sample level. Now listen to what happens to the vocal when I make one simple adjustment. It's not a thing I can do. Already, the vocal piece sounds a bit more interesting. It's not a thing I can do. Okay. It's not a thing I can do. Okay, that's lovely. And now, I'm, let me take it up to about about here, about 1100 uh, samples. It's not a thing I can do. Now, this is a really, really handy tool for creating a bit more excitement in the vocal, spreading the vocal across the left and right channels, which actually gives it a lot more life than without the delay engaged. It's not a thing I can do. It's not a thing I can do. Okay, 
that's really handy and a great little tool that you can use on your vocals. Okay, so that's your sample delay. What I'll do, I'll touch on some of these bits on synths in just a second. And of course your echo, which is quite straightforward. With the echo again, we've got some presets right here, which we can just pull up. Uh, let's try this one. This looks interesting. Okay, now over here, of course, you've got delay interval setting. You've got the amount of feedback. That's the number of repeats that you hear. Um, you've got your left to right. And down here, the color, this is like a filter. When you drag this this way, it's a high pass filter. And this way is a low pass filter. Uh, and this is on the, the repeated signal, okay? It's not a thing, it's not a thing I can do. Can you hear that now? With the repeat. It's not a thing, it's not a thing I can do. So the, the repeat has got a lot of the bottom end taken out. Let's go this way. And you'll hear that the repeat's got a lot of the top end taken out. It's not a thing I can do. So it's more muffled, okay? This way is more muffled, this way is brighter, okay? And that's on the repeat. Okay, so that's your echo. And finally, we come to the delay designer. Now, this is an incredibly powerful plugin. And I use this one a lot just to create really interesting reflections. It's very, very musical indeed. Now, the other thing is that it's got a whole host of presets. So you've got simple, you've got complex, you've got a simple filtered, complex filtered, pitched, complex pitch shifted. And then you've got Warped, which has got some really, really interesting um, options in there. So there's a ton of stuff. Plus you can go in and you can do your own thing. You can edit. Um, just looking at the interface here, you can mess with the cutoff, the filter cutoff. Um, you can uh, mess with resonance. You can even transpose, so uh, work on pitch. Uh, panning, of course, level. You c it's a multi-tap delay as well so you can determine where the repeats occur over time and you can set that up by using these controls the tutorials not so much about how this thing works but just to kind of show you that it's there and how powerful it can be so let me start with a simple alternating pan let's quarter note pan okay interesting um, let's go for something a bit more complex. Uh, how about something like, let's try this one. Really interesting. Um, and then quickly go for a filtered 16th filter pan. Okay, cool. So let me just show you this real quick. Um, if we go to cutoff, you can see right here is where we adjust the filter cutoff point. The resonance, well, the resonance is pretty flat here, but you can introduce um, your own resonance on each tap point. These are all your, your different tap points, okay? Um, and then, of course, you've got the transposition here. Let's send these up here. Let's do an earlier one. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's try this one. Okay, and that's just random. I mean, if you look down here, these are semitones. Okay, so, uh, so you can go up to 12 semitones. Okay, so like an octave up. Oh. Or an octave down. Let's pull these down by an octave. Okay, uh, you can have a bit of fun with that. Um, and then of course you pan where the pan position is for each tap intervals. Right, and down here is where you kind of, you can switch things on and off. So like the filter, the, if you if you want to switch off the filtering, for say these two, you highlight them, you switch that off. If we were to click on this, the filtering is still on. So you can switch off some of the parameters based on the individual tap point. And this is really, really powerful. Okay, so let's try one final, let's go to say warped. I like this one, this is really interesting. Um, let's play that back. It's not a thing I can do. That's the great thing about the delay designer. It's really powerful and very 
very, very useful, not only on vocals, but also on synths and drums and whatnot. We're going to have a quick look at using the delay plugins on this very simple synth line. Nice and simple, just using an ES2, very bland, very pretty boring as it stands. Um, let's start again with the tape delay. Okay, interesting. Let's just go for something like this. Let's see what that does. Now that part is completely transformed into something far more interesting than this boring. Okay, let's try it one more time. Now, so that's the thing about delay plugins. They add life to a quite boring, bland pieces very, very quickly. And this is just a preset. I haven't even gone in and edited anything yet. Let's switch over now to the stereo delay. Again, I use this very, very often in my productions when I'm working in Logic Pro X. Switch it off. And on. really interesting quick results again we've got loads of options right here um i mean that even just the default we call default this is interesting in its own right okay so that's your stereo delay on a synth and now a sample delay a bit of push here so if you want to thicken uh, a melody whether it be a synth or any instrument um, or vocal as we've seen before, just by using the sample delay, it, you definitely get more body to that sound source because you're kind of creating a duplicate of the signal and you're able to trick the ear into thinking it's one signal rather than two. Yeah, nice, that's really interesting. Um, again, I mean, the, the echo is real simple. Um, Okay, again, you can have lots of fun messing with that one. And then of course you've got your delay designer. Okay, and let's try something in the warped section. You get really interesting results with the delay designer. This can generate really interesting melodic ideas that you probably wouldn't come up with yourself. So it's a really powerful tool and can be used very creatively in your productions. As standard, Logic comes with these fantastic stock delay plugins, which are extremely usable. This is in addition to the delays that come with some of Logic's amazing synths. So Alchemy has got its own delay built in. You've got an independent delay right here within Alchemy. And then of course, if you wanted to, you can add additional delay to the channel strip by maybe adding, I don't know, a sample delay or a stereo delay, whatever. So, you know, in terms of delays, Logic is fully loaded with some fantastic stock delay plugins, which can give you really interesting results in your productions. Okay, so I hope you found this portion of the head-to-head -head useful. We've looked at the delays in Logic Pro X. Next up, I'm looking at the delays in Pro Tools and Ableton Live, so make sure you check those out. The links will appear on the screen, so you can go straight there. And don't forget to check out the rest of my videos as well. It's always great hearing from you. So drop me a line and send me that feedback. And remember to like and subscribe if you're feeling what I'm doing, okay? Finally, don't forget to activate your notification bell so when my next video drops you will find out i'll be back real soon i'm dr deuce peace <laughs>